It's prep night. The big final gathering before we pledges find out which sorority we got into, if any. I don't know what I'll do if I don't get that legacy scholarship. Come on, just one more night and rush week is over. Episode 9, Pref Night. Thank God. I don't know what I'd do if I had to smile and oppress people for another day. Probably combust, right? Nah. <laughs> I'd finally bite Monica's face off. Nah, I'd pay money to see that. Actually, everyone here would. You could probably pay your tuition off of it. Then I vote for that plan. Not a chance. We worked too hard for tonight. Any wise words for me, Madam President? Any insults or things I could have done better or... No, we've done great work. I've got your back tonight, Digi. My cold, dead heart melts. Amused, Skylar's perfectly pink lips curl into a grin. You seem surprised. I... I didn't think you had it in you. Ah, oh, she likes it when we're snarky, so I thought. I don't try to make out with people I have nothing nice to say about. I at least have some self-respect. That's news to me. She rolls her eyes and nudges me touching my shoulder a little too long. Now get in line before our tuition paid ice cream melts. I seriously need to see the school's budget. We sit down at a table with our ice cream bowls, coming face to face with other sisters. I'm a little sad that Rush Weeks is ending. You sort of broke your own brain planning all of it, Jessie. And I would do it again. Skylar laughs with a scoop of ice cream halfway to her mouth then watches in horror as it topples onto her cleavage. Wow, and you say I'm the clumsy one. At least they didn't get on my dress. You sure have your priorities. I grab a napkin from the center of the table and offer it to her. God, look at me having manners. <laughs> Who am I turning into? Instead of taking the napkin, Skylar gives me a heated look well, it, Skylar? Instead of taking the napkin, Skylar gives me a heated look that I'm all too familiar with. <laughs> In front of other people? Sure you don't want to lick it off instead? I mean, naturally, I'd probably be like, is that an open invitation? But these other options... I mean, is that the only place I should? Or I've pictured you wearing nothing but ice cream toppings before. Look, I'm not sure how many playthroughs I plan on doing of this one. But like, you know... You know no regrets, guys. That's... <laughs> really? What was that? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm sure. So, what's your decision? Sounds like a dare. Ooh, what are you gonna do about it? I drop my voice low so only Skylar can hear. You think I'm too chicken to say no? I think you want me enough to say yes. It'd be way more fun than a napkin. It really would be. Fuck. I can't turn off my horny brain. She gets near my mouth one time and suddenly I'm hooked. But she hasn't looked away from me. She looks just as hungry as I feel. And that one little dollop is melting down the curve of her chest. I'm going to... <laughs> really? 
Really? I am clutching my pearls right now. We're doing it. I scoot my chair right up against Skyler's and watch her face flush. The table erupts into a cac cac cacophony of gasp and giggles. But I only have eyes for one girl. Wow. Someone barely even hesitated. Someone looked like she really wanted me to do it. Hurry up. If it stains my dress, I'll blame you. I look down and take in the sight. Strawberry ice cream on cream-colored skin. How much will you hate me if I say you look like a snack? I already hate- oh. <laughs> I mean, what were you expecting? I dip my head and wrap my lips around the perfect spherical drop of the dessert. The ice cream itself goes down my throat in a flash. But my lips are still on her chest, and I feel the ghost of her fingertips against my hair. In public? Come on, there's still more. I'm going to... <laughs> I mean... Okay, okay. Um. Okay, so I like the last two options. We'll go with make eye contact. My mouth moves off her slowly as she holds my gaze the entire time. Did you like watching the show? Go fuck yourself. She sounds breathless, needy. And that's all for me. Wow. I lean back in my chair with the smuggest grin I can manage. Only then do I realize the entire table has gone silent. <laughs> well, we gave everyone quite a show. Damn, DG. <laughs> you really took the dare by the ovaries. Another sister high-fives me, and Skylar laughs. Thanks for being my napkin, sweetheart. Anytime. Once I finish my ice cream, I step away to use the bathroom. Oh, look. Someone's crawling back to where she came from. That's so funny, Monica. Tell me, are you here because... <laughs> okay, I like the last one. I do. You wanted to make friends with the rats. But I wonder if it'd be more insulting if we were like, no one wanted you at their table, which is why you're in the restroom. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know which one. Which one sounds the more insulting? I mean, we can talk about how excluded she is. Not that we know that she is excluded, but the fact that she's in the restroom. And besides, she started fighting with us first. Uh, I'm not sure how, though. Uh, yeah, it's between the first one and the last one. I don't care too much. The middle one is alright. But I think the top and last one hit the most. We'll go with we'll go with this one. Ooh. I wouldn't want to steal your friend group. Wow, sick burn. You know, I'm actually sitting with your friends out there. See if I care. It's a good thing I ran into you. I need to give you this. I knew it. I I knew it. She holds out a pristine white envelope. Oh, okay. I thought she had the pictures. My letter. 
This will tell me if I'm going to be a Sigma or not. I snatch it out of her hands. The sounds of her heels clicking away are drowned out by my heart thudding in my ears. Dear Digi, we regret to inform you. My stomach sinks through the floor. I didn't get it. I'm not getting my legacy scholarship. Okay, because she probably could have forged the damn documents. I mean... Burning with humiliation and biting back angry tears, I march back over to the table. Well, it's not really Skylar's fault. I need to talk to Skylar right now. Did you? What's going on? I need to... We'll be, we'll be more clear-headed and calm. We'll politely ask her to come, to come with me. Can I please talk to you in private? All of the Sigmas exchange looks of concern, but Skylar stands without hesitation. But you know what? If we had made a big show of it, we could have probably like asked Monica for giving us the envelope. Of course, let's go. As we walk away from the table, my thoughts form into a dark cloud in my mind. Was I stupid to think Skylar had changed? Was she plotting against me the entire time? Hey, talk to me. What's going on? Her eyes are shimmering. Her hands are warm on either side of my shoulders. And I don't want to believe that she'd do this to me. I want to leave this house with my head held high. Whatever is going through your head, you can tell me. Please. I want to... Re be gracious and thank Skylar for all her help. Yeah, I mean, she's been pretty nice to us. I just got my letter. I didn't get in. Skylar's face flickers through a series of emotions. What? Seriously? Oh god, I'm so sorry. You're the last person who needs to apologize for anything. I just wanted to say thank you for helping me. It's been disgustingly nice getting to know you over the past week. The feeling is mutual. But now Monica gave me the letter and I... Wait, Monica? Yeah, just now in the bathroom. Skylar cuts me off and holds me tight against her. I'm paralyzed by the lovely scent of her hair, the heat of her arms around me. It feels so right to be close to her. I need you to stop worrying, okay? She murmurs in my ear, making the command sound like a lullaby. Something is wrong and we're going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I won't let anyone do this to you. You deserve to be here. Her fingers cart through my hair and I hold her back. <laughs> Careful not to choke me, sweetheart. You're not into that. I mean, now that you mention it. Wait, hang on, seriously. She pulls back to look me in the eye. Monica was never in charge of handing out the invitations. Jessie was supposed to give them to everyone tonight. There's no way Monica would be in charge since... She clears her throat. Well, no weird reason. It's just not up to the VP or president who gets in. Totally normal. Yeah, no, I want to bring attention to this. Then why did Monica give me the letter? Because she's a conniving little demon and seems hell-bent on ruining your life. I thought that was you. You know me better than that these days. Diddy, Monica is up to something. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. Continued in episode 10. Alright.